Turns out the SS is alive and well, and it's based out of the West Midlands. Well, good to know they didn't lose their jobs, of course. Though they've, oh. they've, they've changed their snazzy uniforms with the very, very lame-looking vests. Exactly, they've gone well, from their fancy Hugo Boss to these gay-ass reflective vests. Mm. Yeah. Oh shit, I said gay well, and around the police, I'm going to get arrested. Oh no! <laughs> does this remind you of your lesbian Nana? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it does. Oh god, he's... It does remind me of lesbian non bread. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh. So, I'm sure Jesus we've all seen Christ. the video by now, so, so I'm just going to throw it on in the background there. So, what I'm we still waiting for the context. That, you know, when they, they put out their initial statement and they're like, don't, don't jump to conclusions based on the social media video. We've got. Uh, camera footage that shows that it was totally justified. I'm still waiting for it. Are they hiring an editor or, or what? Like, cause... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were told there were contacts in this video and then this video never materialized. Mm. So <laughs> apparently... The fucking body cams probably make them look worse. That's the most so appa you know, apparently I've that, seen. Apparently that thing there is offended by being said that it looks like your lesbian grandmother. I mean, at least it's called the lesbian grandmother. I want to say, I want to say, it looks like the dickiest fucking character you, you could ever find. You mean turbo face? It has yes, the right. fucking soy face. Oh yeah, it, no. yeah, it's, it's a, a living soy jack. jack. That's that's a soy <laughs> jack waiting to happen. Yeah, it's a soy oh, jill. Yeah. Soy yeah. jill. Yeah. Or, there you go. Uh, I yeah. Like jill, yeah. it, was it bleach she <laughs> shared? No, it was ardent. I think it might have been me. Actually. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh god respect my authority <laughs> your unearned undeserved authority mm -hmm. yep. yeah i think it was uh history debunked i was listening to a video of his on the way home yesterday and uh, he was talking about this incident and he pointed out that or sorry he's talking about the police in general actually and he pointed out that there used to be height requirements uh it used like to be six foot six one six two too. yeah yeah <laughs> but uh I, I'm I'm sorry, but five two lesbian grandma there is not going to intimidate anybody. Well, of course no. not. That's, That's why she I needed mean. her six fuck boy loser mates to brutalize this well, autistic teenager for her. And there was a black woman in there too. That, That's something that a lot of people get you know overlook. There was a woman. There is a black woman with yes, another black woman when they're outside in, trying to cover. Yeah, in the very crowd outside. Uh, Doesn't probably this the very kid beginning have scoliosis? Doesn't this kid have scoliosis? So Ooh, being autism. lifted by the shoulder. Yeah, no, but she also has scoliosis too. too. There, yep. look. Right there. Go go back. One more frame. You can see her. Yeah. Right. It, it, she's she's one of the ones bending over. And yeah, you can see her clear clearer in some other Probably something she's very used to considering she's a oh, diversity yeah. hire. Well, I mean, yes. There we go indeed. Oh my god, is that hair? Uh huh. Yep. How okay. that didn't yeah. rag, I don't know. Uh I like threw the regs out in uh, the 60s. Yeah. Monkey has a, uh, has a question. If you don't like uh, being told you look like a lesbian, why would you go so far away to <laughs> intentionally appear as a Looks lesbian like as one. possible? <laughs> it's because you're fishing for offense like this woman. I mean, an ap autistic teenager doesn't really, <laughs> doesn't really qualify as an arrest. But when you're so desperate at being offended, you do what this d does. Yeah, I don't know if you, if anybody caught uh, Harry Miller's uh, GB News video on this, but he, as always, had some really valuable insights into it, where he talks about that these public, the thing that she was arrested for was a public order offense in her own home. Yes, that, I noticed that doesn't count in a private residence. So actually, under the law, this is kidnapping. Oh, of yep. course it is. Oh. Not to mention, pretty sure Pace says that you're not supposed to arrest someone unless it is necessary for the exercise of justice. Sorry, did they think the weird autistic teenager was a flight risk? <laughs> yeah. From the, I'm... Cupboard. From, from the cupboard. Yeah. What was dragging her out from under the cupboard and kit detaining her in a police station for tw nearly 24 hours actually necessary. necessary? No, of course like, let's was. just Like, even if you play devil's advocate and you say, like, Okay, under the law, once one police officer says you're under arrest, the rest don't have any authority to overrule it, right? Let's just say that's the case. Okay, and so, so that, they that's... have to then carry through with the arrest. Like you would have thought, the one police officer in there would have went right, but we don't need to drag her out, do we? She's no. 
16 year old autistic girl why don't five of you fuck off outside we'll quietly go in we'll say come on mom we need to sort this at the police station is it because is it because and i quote i don't care let's just (laughs) calmly all go in and sort this out in the police station instead of dragging her out of the house and causing drama not one of them not the one had that thought process of let's de-escalate no, I'm, it was constant, aggressive escalation every yeah. step of that footage. Yeah, and which, she which was is an ongoing angry. problem with every police force in the world at the moment. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've said this multiple times, and I, I want to re-emphasize it now. There's a damn good reason why British police aren't allowed firearms. Because if Turbo D- Karen here had a pistol, she would have probably lit up the whole house like the ATF li- lights up dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. When they had a gun, they shot two dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Despite the fact that they carry yeah. pepper spray, no one that what works really well on dogs. Yeah, but if you if you just use pepper spray on dogs, you don't get the satisfaction of uh, committing terrible fucking murder on somebody's beloved pet. Mm, true. So they'll be next in line to join the police force over here because. They're desperately looking for foreigners to come over and brutalize their citizens because nobody wants to work mm. for the bunch of pedophiles. And, you know, mm. I, I, I just, I've, I've watched that footage so many times, and there was one moment, one moment where you saw a male cop try to do something and basically got physically blocked by the dyke. Yeah, and it was very funny. early on. And it's just like escalation, escalation, escalation. And he knew if he did anything, that he would automatically probably get written up and discharged for yeah. sexual harassment. But but yeah. here are here, so there are several things that come up. Firstly, again, why was the arrest necessary? Was Nothing. there a chance that she was not going to come to court? Did they not know who she was? Could they not send her a summons for her hate crime? No, they arrested her on purpose to punish her for offending Officer. Yeah, the punishment was the trauma. Like, yep. they're like, oh, there's no further action being taken. Yeah, well, the punishment was the trauma. That yeah. they, she's already been punished. Yeah, physically and mentally. It doesn't now. You already punished it. Exactly. She yep. was kidnapped, fought, held against her will, un- entirely unnecessarily. Let's not forget that her mother was also assaulted. Oh, True. well, yeah. She's a straight woman, so she's like the straight white man of women. Because she she had been telling her mother... That, oh, she looks like Nana. And uh, the officer had ran back into the house because they were already leaving. Pushed the mother, nearly pushed her down the stairs, according to the mother, to try and get to the door. So she assaulted the mother before the arrest was even made. Oh, of course. So this was all about a grudge. Like, I was under the impression yeah. that the, the lesbian Nana statement had been made in public before no. this whole thing started. Oh, of course not. No, it was made to the mother. Oh. And the lesbian cop overheard it and you can see what... in the video she's like she's clenching her fist like she's so angry this is it, it was revenge it was yeah yeah no, it was, it was, it was absolutely it was you you have you have offended against the holy church of right. the yeah. alphabet the rainbow look at the fucking right there woman, like yeah. and this is the problem with <laughs> a women and b lesbians in the police force they're all like that that's <laughs> angry duck face it's fucking hilarious <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Look at the petulant child. For fuck's sake, stop that. But yeah, it it it's and then you see her huffing and uh, outside when they're brutalizing that teenager. Look, look at the fists. Look at the fists. Look at the look at the absolute petulant, pathetic rage of Officer Dyke here. Yep. Look before you change frames. Yeah, I was just going to say, look at the body language on him. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck are we doing here? Yep. That's that's the guy I, I noticed she got in front of when things would, you know, going like a couple frames from now. Or he's trying to work into the corner and she keeps standing between the kid and everybody else. Yep. And then you've got, I don't know who this guy is. The, the one who should be punching Bull Dyke in the face. Yep. Yeah. yeah. See how she's like absolute, edging her way back in there? Look at the absolute petulant rage though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've seen teenagers with more dignity than that. Yep. And yes, so, of course, send the men in to brutalize the teenager. Hmm. And then, when we finally get outside again, again, a bunch of men, plus Officer Black Lady. Because, of course, the fucking Turbo Dyke can't do anything a fucking self. 
Got to make no, the she just looks, stands at side and looks at it. Yes, I did the right thing. Probably what she's thinking. Stupid and sits bitch. there no, enjoying no, no. Not, the, the brutalization no, yeah, no, of this child for offending her Fifi. It, it's not, I did the right thing. It's, I got that little bitch punished. That's what's yeah. going through her yeah, mind. That's it. It wasn't about yeah. the fucking charge. Because if it was about the charge, they could have just fucked off and summoned her later. Because yeah. they knew who she was because they took her home. I mean, that, that's the kind of so handling wrong. methodology that you use when you're picking up a perp who's been fighting you. Like, yep. And I'm not just talking, like, resisting. I'm talking, like, punching. Because I've, I've, I've had cop friends go through this a bit, and they're just like, okay, you know, did the kid come at them with, like, a metal pipe or a knife or something like that? Of course no, not. she was just crying. That's, she hurt in her pain feelings, and, panic. and that's all that matters. Exactly. Exactly. And that's that's worse than physical assault with a deadly weapon, apparently. Well, let, let's let's be fair here, Bleach. If she had gone after bull with a pipe, bull wouldn't have been a problem anymore. Oh, f <laughs> guy, the would be fucking dead if she did. We would have one less issue in the police force if the oddest lost it. You know, she got reported to the social services for this as well. What? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, they reported her to the social services and said that she was aggressive. Oh, come oh fuck on. off. Again, like, the punishment has already been dished. Yeah, now it's just petty further uh, Fucking Christ, holding. this stupid bitch. Yeah, the, the punishment is the process. Yep. Yeah, and, and because this was an arrest, it's going to be on her permanent record in the UK, correct? Of course. Yep. Don't forget, it's still going to be recorded as a non-crime hate incident. You know it is. Yeah. Yep. Or it might be recorded as a oh. crime hate incident. Oh. Jack is telling me he gets further. wiped at 18, so oh, that, I'm that guessing bottom... it's a juvenile record. Yeah, he does. Okay. Yeah. But but still, that bottom, how, how old, that bottom how, message how old there. How was she, though? Uh, 16. Oh, 16. So I'm not sure how that works for non-crime hate incidences. Uh, those you mean the things, that they were told, the things that were t they were told were illegal and they weren't allowed to keep recording? Mm -hmm. Non-crime <laughs> hate incidents. That is... Oh, that's a Orwellian bullshit right there. Oh, listen to this. Police have inter interviewed the, the child without an, a, an appropriate adult there, and 20 hours in cells. She's out, no charge, but she's on bail? Well, the bail's now been dropped as of the last statement, because they've said that so. there'll be no further charges and she's been released from bail. But, mm -hmm. you know, as we said, the, she's, she's already been punished. Mm -hmm. 20 hours yeah. in a cell, an assault, a kidnap, and social mm -hmm. services on her ass. Like, she's already mm -hmm. been punished. I I'm wondering, Is there too, a way they, they can go through the law with this, like, sue the fuck out of these police fuckers? I hope so. Oh, I certainly um, hope It so. kind of sounded that way listening yeah. to uh, Harry Miller. No, yeah, Harry, I'd, I'd be interested to know if Bull ended up in the transportation vehicle with the girl and if the yeah. uh, cams were still running. Personally, I'd like to see the mother pressing criminal charges for assault and kidnap, but yeah. um, suing, yeah, I guess, will make though. her a very rich woman. She does oh, yes. so, oh, I'm going to try to Disco, press... you'll, you'll know the answer to this question. Do they have um, oh, uh, the term for not being able to prosecute police quite the same way? Special liability, is it? Yes, qualified I'm immunity, sure. and no. Qualified and immunity, thank you. You can just go fuck yourself. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Why would the system work for the people? But apparently this is becoming more and more common. Like, uh, I'm, I'm sure Bezik probably has the link up because Carl had posted it. Um, the one about um, most, like, hate crime prosecutions being against police officers. Ooh, I don't think I've got that somewhere. I saw it, but I can't find yeah. it again. There, there was a... Let me grab it. Oh, here we go. No, here it is. I did have it. Oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, History Debunked mentioned that, too. I did find the actual... Police officers point. are victims in almost half of all the hate crime prosecutions. No, really? fuck off. You're the police. You can't be the victim of a fucking hate crime. Hey, Bessick, that's hateful. You should you should be careful now. Oh, wait, you're not in England. It's worse. You're in Australia. <laughs> oh, look at yeah, that little diaper. It's very telling, person. isn't it? It's very... <sighs> Very telling. It's almost like we can't find anything to charge you with, but you looked at our female officer kind of funny. Mm. And said so you remind her of your grandmother. Oh, and it's West so Midlands, now, of course. Forty-three percent of all hate crimes charged in this area had police victim. How? No, you can't wow. be the victim of a, a any kind of fucking thought crime if you're a cop. No. Like hard on the fuck up. Like I know cops in Australia who are absolutely bent out of shape 
because the courts are going, no, you have to put up with a higher level of abuse. You can't just arrest people for insulting you or swearing at you. You've got to put up with high levels. And so then the cops are like, hey, me, why should I have to put up with more than anyone else? Because you're paid, you stupid cunt. Yeah, and you're supposed to be trained to fucking control yourself. Also, in Australia, yeah. we give you a fucking gun if you're getting bent out of shape over fucking words. Quit, you mentally unstable yeah. lunatic. Losers. Quit and become a woman politician. <laughs> Especially if you're um, a man. It, um, you know, it, it just it is amazing to me, as much shit as American policing gets, and rightfully so, that we don't have this fucking problem to this extent. No. Because you um, you can literally go around telling, you know, fuck you cops to their face, and if you're not doing anything, they're they're nine times out of ten, all right, either fuck you too, or all right, sir, have a nice day. And you know, meanwhile, it's like, I can't believe I ran into that fucking retard. They, you know, <laughs> they don't they don't go and cry to their little, you know, yep. mummies well, and go, oh, let's go brutalize a teenager. To. They're not supposed to. But yeah, there's there's a lot of videos on YouTube of people being pulled over. Oh, you flipped off the cop. It's free speech. Get fucked. Yes, and yeah. then at a media, and, and, and then and then of course because the cop is an arrogant, petulant retard. They go, "I pulled you over because you gave me the finger." It's like, "Well done, fuckwit." That's now First Amendment retaliation, and you're going to court and losing because that isn't eligible for qualified immunity. Exactly. Uh, at least, at least, kind of flesh out and be like, "Your hands weren't on the wheel." Yeah. <laughs> you're well, you're not without, driving um, safely, sir. Yeah, you driving with undue care and attention. <laughs> Were both your hands on the wheel, sir? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, boy, oh, you're going. <laughs> you know, at least get creative. <laughs> yeah, at, at yeah. least try that. Granted, though, the case law do has also thrown that out because you can't get done for body parts out the window if you're giving a cop the finger. That's settled case law. Yep. I mean, I suppose it depends how many of those body parts should have been on the steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. At least say you were giving yeah, me the... You both you were hands me the out the yeah. side window. <laughs> You're like, what were you steering the car with, sir? My <laughs> six-foot dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, Driving like Mr. Bean and Another here. article from the British Bullshit Corporation. Eight crimes on police more likely to be charged. Yes, because the police are now a protected fucking class, apparently. Well, with all the minorities in there and uh, LG whatevers, kind of true. That's you it. Mean nano -lookalikes? Whatever, <laughs> <laughs> nano lookalikes? Whatever, get him. Nano lookalikes, I like that. There are a lot of nanas in the police force. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> Oh god, that would be that would be so good for the, like the next anti-police protest if they all just start screaming, "Nana, is that you?" <laughs> <laughs> or no, Nana, no. <laughs> oh, that'd be even better. Yep. So if 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 you're in the UK and you're getting done in by police, just shout, "No, Nana, no." <laughs> oh, I'm, Fez, you're you're going to throw oh, it. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Christoph Waltz one is so good. <laughs> Star God is on fire. You're yep. shattering autistic children under the floorboards, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So moving on from that one, what else do we really have? Yeah, you know, like what's up? Should be fired, abuse of power, murder goes on on the streets, and this is what they're doing. And the girl is saying the truth. She does oh. look like a lesbian aunt. Now come arrest me, chicken shit. The <laughs> green Martian in chat has it perfectly. You can't have the nanny state without nanas. Mm. This is <laughs> there you go. When, when you've got police forces saying, you know, oh, we don't know if we're going to be able to investigate every every burglary because we don't have enough no, money. No, but apparently we, we have seven that. officers free to arrest someone from for we saying that the lesbian looks like a lesbian. We can't fucking go out and arrest grooming gangs because reasons, but pff, autistic girl makes a comment in her home, send the full fucking squad. I'm surprised they didn't bring in a SWAT team. British Megan Rapinoe. <laughs> There you go. Oh. Well, Scott, Scotty P <laughs> makes an interesting point. Rapinoe physiogen, uh, physiogen, Phys physiognomy. physiognomy? Let, let let's just get, get up Rapinoe. Hmm. I mean, oh, I, wow. I will say hmm. at least this dyke made a goal. Oh, what kind of creature was that? Yeah, but it was a nine goal. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> penalty oh shot, God. maybe. 
my god, Rapin Rapino is looking more manly every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little green Martians like, holy shit, she does look like Rapino. Well, they all look alike. It's almost as if is a facial shawl type. Mm-hmm. Yep. Constant resting I, cunt I'm... face. And the autistic girl picked up on a fucking pattern and was like, yeah, no shit. he looks kind of like this <laughs> other lesbian. You know, as autistic children are prone to do, see a pattern comment on said pattern. It's fucking yep. terrifying. It's really I, uh, terrifying. I, I think my favorite meme of this, this cunt is uh, the one that has uh the motto with the, or the caption at the top is uh arrested an autistic girl for calling saying i look like her lesbian grandmother and at the bottom it says i was so mad i went home and beat my wife oh there that's the go. one i made <laughs> oh was it awesome yeah i mean she could be uh, offended being called a grand there you she go could yeah be offended i love that because one. she was called a grandmother because she that has kid no called... <clears throat> intention that kid called me a You're going. i'm so mad i'm going home and beating my wife <laughs> 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 uh, Feel free to share this one, people. <laughs> now, now, what percentage of it of police officers are domestic abusers? Is it forty six percent? Oh, is it like, yeah, it's forty six or forty seven. Does that hmm. go up in the Nana population? Yes. <laughs> and ironically, because lesbians have the highest rates. Well, the second highest rate of interpersonal violence. Highest is interestingly enough is by women. Because they've got the all the bad t- like because they pick up on the narcissistic women and men. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. You know, it's probably a really good thing that do the police in Britain carry batons, those extendable batons? Yes. And she are you suggesting that she pretends it's her dick? No, I'm suggesting that it's probably a good thing there were other cops there, otherwise that baton probably would have came out and been laid into that girl. Ah, oh, she she's a d- we're lucky there were other cops there. She would have raped them. Didn't she try to attack? <laughs> didn't she attack the mother though? When she barged into yeah. the house, she had yes, basically yes, assaulted her. her yeah. <laughs> and yeah. she was, uh, she was stood at the bottom of the stairs, like, clenching her fists, like she wanted to hit the girl. Yeah. Yeah. She, oh, uh, just the absolute petulant rage of my pathetic. D- <laughs> you know when I yeah. see that face, it just shrieks manlet to me. <laughs> Slightly no, manlier it... than Elliot Page. She <laughs> there we go. Quite fucking pleased with herself, to be honest. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's the the thing that's just pissing me off even more than than everything else. It's just like, oh, look at that. I got my way. It's so cute. But the context of this shot is in the background. She's watching this. Uh, was it six or so men twisting that girl's arms behind her back? She's screaming in pain. Like that's what she's looking at. She yeah. doesn't feel bad about that. No, she got exactly she what she quite wanted. Quite fucking pleased with herself. See, Bruce. What's What's really uh, funny is the look in her eyes could almost be the realization that she has just ended her fucking career as well. It's oh, they won't fire her. British. They won't fire her. I'm just the body language that that's a mixture of contempt and self ple- pleasure. It's like she's mm. kind of hugging herself, like, "Oh, look at me! Look what I did! I feel so good about it." Fuck, I can't I show that emotion. Upset. I I better look concerned because I said I was offended, but mm-hmm. yeah, I fucking yeah. showed you bitch. Yeah, she she screams validated right there. I'm so offended yeah. by this sixteen year old autistic girl. That I'm going to have six men beat the shit out of them for me. Yeah, I'm a strong, independent so woman who needs strong, six yeah. men to do my work for me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Against a drunk sixteen year old teenager. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Base type says, Barber, hello, what kind of haircut would you like to say? Dyke, please give me the only one lesbians have, says the Indian Dyke. Barber, there you go, you look just like a lesbian. What? <laughs> Ree! <laughs> 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 oh boy. <sighs> it's fucking so mental. Yeah. yeah, it's just. And yeah, so what do we have here? So this is Jonathan Wong commenting on the original statement, which is funnily enough, Disappeared. Oh, no, really? Oh, is it? What a surprise. Oh, look at how that happened. No. I, I wonder if anybody might have archived down. it. <laughs> Probably in, uh, in, in um, uh, like, just like when uh, certain Hillary did her deleting of emails. It's just an accident. <laughs> the totally an accident. Man from John. There you go. <laughs> I noticed they turned replies off with their latest. Update. Well, they got Actually, absolutely they got shit absolutely kicked out of them on their first one. Yeah, I noticed that um, readers have added context to it. I love the community context. Mm, I know. <laughs> one of the best I, I things Elon Musk did. 
I will also point out, if you go through their X page currently, they have so much just turned off for comments. It's fantastic. Because people are just, like, spamming the hell out of them. Mm. I didn't realize they had deleted the original statement. That's of course I did. That's yeah, it's about underhanded. They were getting yeah, so bad. Wong has some of the some quotes from it. Comments were made which resulted in the girl being arrested on suspicion of a homophobic public order offense in the privacy of her own home in a country that supposedly has free speech. So kidnapping. Yes, as uh, Harry Miller pointed out. We also maintain that our officers and staff should not have to face abuse while working to keep our, keep our communities safe. What's next? Firemen should not have to face fire. Butchers should not have to face blood. Teenagers shouldn't have to face kidnapping by the state in their own home. Humans shouldn't have to face bull <laughs> with an attitude problem. <laughs> But seriously, what, officers should not have to face abuse while working to keep our communities safe. Well, maybe they should try keeping the communities safe by going after actual fucking criminals. We're police yeah, uh, officers. Uh, We're not trained to handle this kind of violence. Yeah, may, maybe they should be made aware before they actually enter the police academy that, for the record, you may occasionally be, you know, insulted, assaulted, spat on, told you're a cunt. All these things may happen. So be aware of that. And if you don't want to deal with that, don't become a cop. Keep in mind, mm. if you're a cop, you are a cunt by default. Fair. Yep. <laughs> because oh, yeah, you're right. if it you are a it. cop, that means in in England and Australia and Canada specifically, and a large chunk of the Western Seaboard of the United States, if you are a <laughs> cop, that means that you've already signed up to be an auto-following piece of shit yep. from day fucking mm-hmm. one. Because you've gone in that fucking door knowing what kind of scum you are. Because remember, if you're a cop to die, that means you're willing to do anything they tell you, out thinking. Yep. I was just following orders, guys. Pity me. Yep. The, the thing I don't understand is, don't they give police officers psychological evaluations to see if they're going to have this kind of yes, reaction? Yes, in the to... U.S. This is what they're I looking for. Why, why. Uh, they are looking, they, they are, this is what they're looking for. They are looking for oh, unstable psychopaths that have no problem beating the shit out of people if ordered. Okay. See, Canadian police yeah. riding over grandma. Yeah. And now I, I, I think this is something worth having a discussion on to, you know, not necessarily for this, but in general. If you start taking a police force out of the community in which they're serving, so you're starting to alienate them, driving them further apart, it is so yeah. much easier for them to brutalize a local population. Yeah. Well, that's that's one of the big issues I have with the RCMP. Nobody is ever assigned to where they're from. They're always moved somewhere else in the country. Yep. And th- this is something, you know, I-, I have been very wary of since the, the Ferguson riots with, uh, you know, Obama and talking about nationalizing the police force. And then you're starting to see that creep in in the United States. I we can already see the results. How did nationalizing the yes. police force go to Canada? Uh, it worked out really well. We have stormtroopers now who will ride horses directly over people. Oh, nice. Sounds like a good time. Mm. Funny how that works. Yep. So Disco's mm-hmm. done good in the Lord's work and found the archive. Because while West Yorkshire uh, Police may have deleted their comment, the internet remembers. The internet never forgets. Yep, the internet doesn't forget. And <laughs> the internet is forever. forever. Oh my god. It's something now, Trim should keep in mind. The internet is forever. Watch your language. <laughs> <laughs> well, motherfucker. <laughs> That's no, not the language we're talking it. about. No. They don't get to fucking delete this and pretend it didn't happen. They doubled down. Mm-hmm. West Yorkshire Police takes its responsibilities around the welfare of young people taken into custody and around neurodiversity very seriously. Oh, you take the welfare of young people and issues around neurodiversity seriously, do you? Uh, oh, where's oh. Mr. Jonathan Wong again? Police guide for dealing mm-hmm. with people with autism. Don't rush into making an arrest unless it's the only option. Ooh. Oh, boy. Ooh, a meltdown. A meltdown is an intense response to overwhelming situations, such as being arrested by Officer Bull for making an innocuous comment. Yeah. Ah, stupid Twitter. So the very least, we need some uh, urgent retraining. Mm-hmm. Being arrested and held in custody what? for even a short time is an anxiety <laughs> with a swift experience boot in the for anyone. For an autistic person who needs a routine, is fined by uncertainty, and may have sensory needs or sensitivities, it can be especially hard. Autistic people should be treated as vulnerable people by the police, and as such, reasonable adjustments should be made, such as not getting offended when they say you look like the lesbian grandma. Yeah, yeah. but remember, this is for normal people, quote-unquote. Since she's a d- 
She is allowed to do whatever she wants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's higher up the uh, yes. progressive stack. Mm-hmm. Do's and don't string an arrest. Do keep physical contact to a minimum. Avoiding use of handcuffs or other restraints if possible. Well, that's out the window. Explain yeah, simply like, and calmly like where said, you are taking like, the person and why. No, that's out the window. They oh, could you mean easily, when... easily have turned around and said, look, now she said it, we got to do it. But, mum, can you help us get her in the car? We'll sort this out at the police station so that we don't have to manhandle it. And mum probably would have been like, this is fucking ridiculous, but I'd rather you don't drag her across the street. Mm-hmm. Don't. Rush into yep. making an arrest unless it is the only op. Don't mm-hmm. raise your voice or rush the person unless absolutely necessary. <laughs> don't use signs and flashing <laughs> lights if you can avoid them. Don't attempt they to They did stop- all of this. Yep. Don't attempt to stop the person from rocking or making other repetitive movements. These are self carrying mechanisms and likely to be beyond their control. Don't remove comfort items such as a rubber band or other small items unless essential. God. So, yes. the exact opposite of what they did. Yep. Yeah. Officer um, here did everything that you should oh do. Oh my She's God. The perfect <laughs> case. A reminder this is your West Yorkshire police recruiting pool. So we have a 12 year old gay kid, a 12 year old, a 47 year old tanning victim, <laughs> and the guy who has been bullied every day of his fucking life and deserves There's... it. <laughs> oh, he's going to have so you much. You know exactly when why he gets that power. piece of shit has joined the fucking police. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now it is my time to bully. Did yeah. you say oh. I had Cheetos in my mommy's basement? You're getting nicked, boy. <laughs> oh dear, dear. <laughs> look at that picture <laughs> <laughs> oh that's fucking brilliant <laughs> yeah oh oh is that oh, was that is the one with glasses the one in that viral video who did absolutely nothing to help what <laughs> please tell me somebody posted the video no it doesn't appear to have you bastards Damn it. <laughs> try harder mm. constable potter <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. man pathetic little losers little green martian asks why oh, are they enrolling minors into police force and the update the police say our update to indoctrinate. we have reviewed the evidence and made the decision to take no further action please don't sue us oh. this concludes the criminal investigation and immediately releases the girl from her bail please don't sue us her family has been begged to not sue us <laughs> too late uh, Professional Standards Director is continuing to carry out a review they of have the no standards. Yeah. Oh, and OzCon. Yeah. There we go. That that that's how. I'm surprised he didn't uh, have her hauled off for his own little private uh, fun session. <laughs> probably did. I mean, if she was, if it wasn't in the public eye, I probably would have. Maybe it's not a, a. I'm pretty sure she's too old to be a grooming victim for his standards. Let's be fair. She no, is she's 16. only sixteen. Yeah. yeah, they prefer them younger. And she's white. Twelve or younger. Yeah, but they can still well. sell her off to the gypsies. Oh, that too. <laughs> I f- I fucking hate the British police force. Who doesn't? They they make it very well, easy. It's it's West Yorkshire that seems to figure in so much of this shit. Yeah, and the West the West Midlands in general. Anyway. People. Yep. Yeah. Speaking of, holy shit! So, firstly, as Disco mentioned earlier, yeah, they ab- they got community notes. Good. Police in question That's dragged a sixteen-year-old autistic girl from her home on suspicion of a homophobic speech hate crime because the autistic girl said that one of the officers looked like her lesbian nana. And of course, they've turned off replies. Wait, maybe she wasn't offended by being told she looked like a lesbian. Maybe she was offended by being told she looked like someone's grandmother. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That again, again, exactly what I think. She's offended by being like, "Oh, I'm not a grandmother. Oh. I can't have kids." See, this is how you know that she was a rainbow crowd, and the girl was right because most women would have been like, "Oh, you cheeky little man, who are you calling old?" Exactly. <laughs> what do you mean I look like your nana? <laughs> <laughs> I hope like, you love Eddie, your nana. Any normal woman would have called her a cheeky mare for saying that she, yeah. she looked old. Yeah. The uh, Rainbow Brigade are like, yeah, perpetually my honor. ready to be offended. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What honor? But oh. you, but you look like a lesbian, you silly bitch. <laughs> also, funny okay, enough, yeah. the West Yorkshire Police have only one tweet since the tenth now. Hmm. Really now. Thing. Also, that's an <laughs> uh, that's a suspicion. <laughs> That's an odd number of replies to a post about I don't know a cat. <laughs> let's have a, let's have a look at some of these replies. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! 
Oh. 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 <laughs> you know, that, that is the thing. I there was somebody get a comparison picture between that blow up doll and her, and it's like the same damned hair, Holy same expression. Shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't know the perfect picture existed, but mother yes. fucker! See? <laughs> Dear god! So that's old sticks. <laughs> Crimes against humanity. Um, you look like a lesbian! The cat looks like a lesbian. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh lord. Yep. Had a bigoted opinion. Thoughtfully. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that fucking uh, bastard's <laughs> reference. Uh, this is the other one I shared. I yeah, that one. Yeah, uh, a post you further down their page. just want to be page. left alone to love. Only big and celebrate with us. comments on those bad PR and stuff just signing and moving forwards. And of course, I was going to yeah. save this one for the end. But that's yeah. it's like fallacy. Hey, guys. Oh, <laughs> my, yeah. this is my article. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm. We Why just want to be left alone to love. You mean love that article? That's oh. the one. That's the one. Oh, this is... How we got closer to bigots. Like, we didn't care when you just wanted to love your wife, you stupid dyke. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Disco's gonna get arrested! <laughs> Run! <laughs> we care when you start beating up fucking teenagers! Interestingly, oh. interestingly, it's not, they would come after Disco if they could, because this is the same police force that went after Posey Parker. Twice. Oh, oh no. Because Disco's bit had bad thoughts. Bad thoughts. Yeah. Uh, West I'm sure West Yorkshire Police have come up a few times. Like, they seem to be one of the worst. Yeah, yeah. Well, wasn't it West Yorkshire that went and visited that guy to uh, check his thinking? Well, yeah, that had, oh, what shit. That, though, that are years ago. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day. Sadly, that's oh, so this specific. Is... Uh, Jesus. That was Humberside Police. So I don't know how where the fact that is in relation to the West... Midlands or whatever it is, West Yorkshire, mm -hmm. and that was for just liking a tweet. You can't like tweet. Wasn't it retweeting? I think it was. She just... retweeted yeah. the lyrics or some shit. Probably. Oh, the young girl who retweeted the the rap okay, lyrics. Okay, so I'm beside who police. Died, yeah. Is on the it's east. It's like side. on the east side. East side, motherfucker. <laughs> oh god. East coast, west coast. <laughs> you know. I so I've, I've been digging around in the uh, UK police application stuff, and uh, I have not found anywhere where they mention psychological fitness. They talk about physical fitness. Well, I'm not and, interested in psychological uh, fitness, because anyone who's psychologically fit wants nothing to do with that bunch of rapists, pedophiles, and murderers. Exactly. Exactly. It's just... It, it's, it's fascinating, because, you know, with... Uh, some of the U.S. police forcing stuff, they make it very clear that you have to do a psychological background oh, you mean like that police point. force where 60% of their officers failed and then they just let them keep their jobs anyway? Well, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the thing. Like, you, when you've got diversity quotas, you know, you've got to let the standards go somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, and they actually have a very specific, at, at least for the West Yorkshire, uh, going in, if you're an ethnic minority background, Click here to apply. It's a very specific thing that they're seeking. Yeah. Oh, of course it was California. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that there it was. West. 47 California deputies filed psychological tests stripped of guns. What this article doesn't oh, say is it was then given back. Yeah. All of them got it, their guns but back. But it, it's, it's Oakland. I mean, they have to have their guns. Whether they're yeah. psychologically fit or not, they're going to get shot at just for existing. Even if they weren't cops. Yeah. Huh. Tattoos are not a bar to appointments. Yeah, that's not a surprise. They fucking should be. Yeah. Well, visible ones anyway. Yeah. Especially those on the face. Because if you have tattoos on your face, that's an indication that you're mentally unfit for being in public, let alone being in the police. <laughs> <laughs> and West Yorkshire yep. Police yep. prohibits any officers of staff from being members of the British National Party. Cool. So that's political interference. Good job. Hmm. It's okay when they do it. Yeah. Competency assessment. It's like, hmm. <laughs> if, Can if, you tie your own shoes? <laughs> if no, that's not, someone have. will be provided to tie your shoes for yeah, of you. Of course they can't. They're lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and then there's... Oh, no, that's just joining the police.co.uk, and they talk about uh, physical fitness and all that. We don't really need to show that, I don't think. Oh, look, but... Bradford. Mm. 
But Leeds is in there too. Oakland yep. is basically a ghetto version of San Francisco. Let that sink in. No, just let it can, sink. <laughs> can you get more ghetto than San yeah. Francisco? Oh yes. Oh god, yes. So going through a couple more of the tweets from Reason UK. Burns policing part is twenty twenty three. From oh Darren Grimes. Good old GB News. So West Yorkshire police are investigate when an autistic lad is terrified by death threats, discovering a copy of the Quran. But we'll send a fleet of officers to the door of an autistic girl who suggests one of its officers looked like a lesbian. I'd laugh if it wasn't so depressing. Did, didn't they also arrest the, the, the kid for, or at least the team? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, uh. Just wait, they'll start fucking going after tiny kids at some point. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they, they, that's what their diversity quotas are for. Oh, shit. Sorry, I forgot. Oh. My bad. Uh, um, Let's see what else we have. Ah, yes. So, I think this is just the comment, we, the comments that they were looking at early. Oh yeah, Khan said, we recognize a significant level of public concern, which is the only reason we did anything, please don't sue us. What a load of crap. What an utter load of crap. You're only upset because you got called out. Yeah, only called out, but they're an international laughing stock now. Yeah. Always have been. Mm, true. Yeah, it's just, it, it's mind-blowing that it's being so poorly handled. You, you'd think they'd have a whole PR department. Even somebody you know, sent down from the Met to, to actually handle this for them. Because this is kind of like, yeah, some, yeah, some, let's just say, uh, let's, let's do George Floyd. But instead of the way it went down in this case, you'd actually have uh, you know, recordings of, well, you know, that's stupid N-word. He's choking to death. Ah, should we do anything? No, nah, that's not. Having that caught on camera. That's exactly what's going on here. It's the British police. <laughs> you know they just get in trouble for saying the N-word, not for letting him die. Yeah, that's true. Or, well, you know, we were detaining him for his own good because he'd said the word earlier and we were just repeating it. No, yeah, hmm. of course. <laughs> um, I'm just going to see what, if anything else pops up. No, but, so let's double check the memes. Oh. Oh, hey, God, you... <laughs> out of my eyes. Hey, can, can anyone read this with a lisp, or should I try? Oh, you're you're the fabulous one here. You read it. Okay, <clears throat> I just gotta get in the zone. <clears throat> hey, did you ask if I'm gay? That's harassment. You're under arrest. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> grandma, is that you? <laughs> uh, yes, oh, dear. <laughs> it's your grandma, Jake. Uh... Yeah, I bet she does go home and beat her wife. Or her girlfriend. <laughs> or her do or oh. girlfriend's wife. <laughs> the funny thing is that you wouldn't even tell if that's a trans man or a d Oh no, a it trike. definitely looks like a die. Yeah. No, the, that the, they're looks, really... looks like a natural human, just an is it? psychologically unstable one. Mm. <laughs> that, that really doesn't narrow it down, does it? All right, maybe an unmodified <laughs> human. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Pavlov Pavlov asks, the fuck is even that? Well, this is Officer Turbo <laughs> who gets really, really upset if you say she, lo you, she looks like your lesbian grandma. So she'll have, s uh, so because she's a strong, independent lesbian, she'll have six of her male colleagues beat the shit out of an autistic teenager. She has only cats to keep her company. <laughs> I don't even think she the probably cats want to be close to that bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> she'll flog any <laughs> pussy she can. Yeah. Uh, Oh, uh, <laughs> that was a low blow. That was below the belt bleed. Yes, <laughs> I love Stone Tosses comics. <laughs> oh yeah, there's another one too. Wokely correct. If you get a chance to check him out, he's good too. Yeah. <laughs> Didger says that looks like a peevish Barbie doll after drinking a glass of vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? And of course, I want to go back to 1990. Me too. 1990 was a great year. Uh huh. Yep. I wasn't alive fucking yet. It was fucking fantastic. <laughs> what was that? You weren't alive? <laughs> exactly. You wasn't uh, born yet. Geez, I, was, <laughs> I was 14, you pup. <laughs> Shut up, boomer. <laughs> yeah. Old man yells at clouds. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Back in my day. Uh, we did go to kill my ex. We did my... get arrested by them. <laughs> Back in my day, the only thing a d was good for was holding back the sea. <laughs> Still the only thing <laughs> Ike's good for. Fair. <laughs> now I just want Maureen to show up and chat without context. <laughs> just send her the sound uh, bite later. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Is that truth? Lord. 2K suck. Yes, they do. Uh, yes. Then again, uh, everything after about 1970 seems to have gone to shit. 
Mm, I, I would say after about 1953, when we stopped fighting communists. <laughs> Yeah, McCarthy and didn't. The only thing McCarthy, them to run the university. The only thing McCarthy did yeah. wrong is he didn't do a good enough job. He didn't finish exactly. the job. I, I agree but, with Jack Churchill. They never should have nuked Japan. They should have just gone in and wiped it out on foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it Operation Downfall? Mm. That was it. Well, the problem with that was it was going to cost so many lives. It was easier to just nuke hmm. them. Well, I mean, it it, not... it would have ended up with a Japanese genocide. I'm it's just the way they but were. I'm acting. not complaining about that. Yeah. I'm complaining about the loss of American life. Yes, <laughs> and and Australian life that would have gone in mm, as true. well. So. Oh, there's nothing yeah, the Australian government the likes more too. than getting into a war that has nothing to do with us. See, everything since the 50s. <laughs> Vietnam, Korea, Afghanistan, Iraq, Ukraine. Hell, the only war in the last 60 years that they haven't gotten us involved in was the fucking Falklands. And we're actually... Well, that's only because it's so short. <laughs> yeah. mm. but had it gone other on another couple of days, I'm sure you would have been <laughs> recruited and sent over. Uh, I, nobody... Fortunately, I think I was safe from being recruited for the Falklands. I did not so well, much. True. <laughs> uh, the Falklands was what 83, 85, somewhere in there. 83, I think. Yeah, I would have been like seven years old. <laughs> yeah, hey, if it's good enough That's for the no Africans. Excuse. Well, fair. And, I mean, and to be fair, a Newfoundlander with with a twenty two at seven years old is a dangerous fucking creature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but to who? <laughs> Yes. Pretty much anything that could be hit, anything in range. Anyone within a thousand meters. <laughs> oh dear, so yeah. Last thing on the turbo bikes. Don't forget to check out how we all suddenly became bigots. Written by Disco exclusively for SoldiersofShardalay.com. Yep. This ties into it really well though. Mm -hmm. Like, mm. you know, it, it we does. didn't care. We didn't care. And now we hate this woman. Yeah. Yeah, and rightfully it, I'm so. I'm sure it will be in her mind because she's a lesbian and for no other reason. Yeah. No, it can't have anything to do with the fact that you unlawfully and unjustly arrested an autistic child. No, 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 no. Based solely on the fact that you were offended. Yep. 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 Constable hurt feelings. Constable hurt feelings. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to put the emphasis where it belonged there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just. Uh, it uh, it's just that you know whole constant escalation when, when, and when are people going to reach a breaking point if you enjoyed this segment from the songs of chardelet podcast please consider joining us live exclusively on rumble.com slash c slash songs of chardelet a special thanks to our subscribe star supporters who you can currently see scrolling past on your screen